Hello again, it's Dylan from the Weaselhead Glamour Park Preservation Society and we're at our final video of our winter ecology series. This is part four. So today we're going to be talking all about snow prints, uh, how animals move through the snow and just generally how do some of these animals move and why do they make the prints that they do. Let's get started. All right. Very first we have uh, straight line walkers, pacers, bounders, and hoppers. These are our four types of tracks. Um, and we'll go through how you can identify what those four different tra uh, tracks look like and what sort of animals make them. So very first one we have is straight line walkers or perfect walkers. These include uh, coyotes, we go ungulates, felines, oh, and we've got horses here too. Um, now, what all of these animals have in common is as they walk, they will keep their body weight entirely centered over the middle of the, the center of their body um, by moving, for example, their right front foot and left back foot together, and then the left left front foot and right back foot together. And you've got this counter movement going together. Um, as the front foot moves, the back foot will land in the spot that the front foot was just in. Now, I know this is very uh, convoluted way to explain it. It's a, a difficult way to understand through just words. Um, so do take a look at some of those prints on the, the slide here. Um, we also have some pretty fun activities for demonstrating these. And if you want to come out to one of our hikes, um, maybe we'll see some prints and we'll be able to point out uh, a, a real live demo. All right. Now we, that brings us to our next type of animal, our pacers. We are pacers. <laughs> Beavers, porcupines, bears, this is also known as an imperfect walker. We are waddlers, more of a waddling walk. We shift all of our weight to the right and then all of our weight back to the left. Um, this because both the left back and front foot move forward together and then um, our right limbs will move together. Uh, when we're walking, our arms as humans, because we are bipedal, do counter. Um, but if you are watching some of these other uh, quadrupedal creatures, you can see that weight shift as well. That will bring us to bounders. Um, I actually saw some some prints earlier this week of uh, weasel prints in the weasel head, oh, which was very perfect. Um, there we go. So a bounder. Um, what they will do is their front feet will land first and then their back feet will land where the front feet just were. Many animals from the weasel family are all bounders. So you'll kind of see these very symmetrical prints with uh, two tracks at a time, side by side. And then that'll bring us to our final uh, category that uh, we have here are hoppers. Now, hares, voles, squirrels, mice, they all do some hopping. Their larger hind feet will land in front of their smaller front feet. And you'll end up with these tracks that kind of have almost all, all four feet clumped together. Um, so watch out for those and you'll know that you have a hopper. Oh. And let's see some of those pictures. Lovely. Now that brings us to the end of our slideshow today and the end of our winter ecology series. Thank you so much for joining us for this series. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, some of the uh, other ones that we'll be releasing. We do also have some from the past that we released in the past year and before that. Um, but we're very excited to have you join us for this series and I hope you learned a lot and had some fun. Um, please check out our website 
at www.theweaselhead.com where we will be posting our events, uh, ways to volunteer, get involved at The Weasel Head, um, and some of our research as well, uh, or our Instagram, our Facebook, our YouTube. Um, on our website, we also have um, printables that you can take with you when you go on your adventures or to do backyard activities. And of course, you can book some of our programs through there. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic night. Catch you later. Bye-bye.